my fragrance of the day and my review of the day today is called Angelique and it's by Papillon Perfumery. I have a sample here. There's the sample card. That's how the bottle looks. Notes are Osmanthus, White Champac, Oris, Mimosa, Frankincense and Cedarwood. So I tried a little bit of this before my shower and I've been meaning to retry it because I tried it years and years ago and back then I was only just beginning my niche journey and to me it smelled too nice, not niche enough at that point and now I've gone back to, well that doesn't bother me anymore, I just wear what I really really love. So. I never disliked it, I always liked it, but I needed to re-explore it. My friend Sharon from her Facebook group has uh, kindly sent me a sample quite a while ago now. Uh, at my request, I asked if anyone had a sample. She was really generous and sent me a sample. So I can retry it. And I retried it briefly when it arrived, liked it and just kind of, I think I got distracted. And for some reason it came to my attention today while I was going through a box of samples and I put a spray on my wrist and I loved it. It's really a violety, which I hadn't realized. It's a violety iris opening. Uh, it actually survived the shower on this wrist. So I'll be testing from the other wrist to make sure that you just get the full, uh, the full journey from a couple of sprays. But for now, the opening is violety, irisy, but there is a sweet floral element and it's a touch fruity. That's all I'm going to say because I need to get to the post office. So I'll be back very soon. How much more flattering is this lighting than that last bit of video, eh? I love this ring light. It's amazing. So I do have a bit of makeup on now, which also helps. So I've been wearing the fragrance for an hour and a half. So it's coming up to 6 p.m. I'd say an hour and a quarter, actually. I have taken a walk, not a particularly long walk. I was probably out of the house for about 40 minutes and that was uh, going into a shop as well. Got a couple of bits of food. So um, let's talk about how the fragrance behaved on that walk. So. I was walking up the road and the direction of the wind was coming towards me but the wind is very very light today it's, you can tell there's a, a wind direction but it is not strong and there's just an occasional breeze as well so i'm walking in the direction of the wind and i wasn't noticing the fragrance because the wind was pushing it behind me and when I stopped to cross the road, so I was thinking, oh, I don't think this is strong enough for this really cold weather. So it's actually quite cold. It's pretty uh, sort of bit bitter out there and the air is really, really thin. So you, you don't smell things as well, I think, or you, you only smell, I don't really know. You don't seem to pick things up as well in the really cold weather because the coldness seems to almost numb your receptors or something. I'm not entirely sure of the science, but as I was walking up, I was smelling nothing. And I thought, oh, okay, the fragrance is probably not that strong, not quite right for being out in the cold in this weather. But as soon as I stopped and turned uh, towards the road, I caught a whiff of it. So the, the, the really light, barely there wind picked it up and brought it to my nose. And I thought, oh, yeah, this is really good, actually. And um, and then on the way back down, once I'd been to the post office, on the way back down the road, I was smelling more of it because the wind was going in the opposite direction and kind of blowing it this way. And every now and then I was catching whiffs. So that is the, uh, the way the fragrance behaved. How does it smell? I'm really loving it. I can't believe I've disregarded it from way back when and now. I think actually I got samples when the brand launched when it was just the three. So Anubis, Angelique and Tobacco Rose. I got the three samples, fell in love with Tobacco Rose and kind of dismissed the other two at the time. And since then, um, I'm now, re I've, I kind of fell in love with Anubis, not to the point of buying a bottle, but teetering on the edge. And then this one, I'm really loving it. So it's, it's 
chalky it's iris and violet together with this light fruity sweetness osmanthus can smell like apricots and leather at the same time oh look who's come to join in so osmanthus has uh, both facets apricot and leather and i tend not to enjoy osmanthus in fragrances because i don't really enjoy leather too much and apricot's not a favorite note either and if a fragrance generally advertises having a large amount of osmanthus i tend not to not to be too interested and the fragrances i have tried that have a heavy osmanthus come on then i have generally not enjoyed too much there's uh, maybe too much richness in the apricot or just too much leatheriness for me to truly enjoy so there is osmanthus in here but i think that what's going on is it's giving it a suede like fruity aspect without it being exactly like sniffing it's not like sniffing a freshly cut apricot it's also not quite like sniffing a dried apricot it's just a a fruity slightly sweet facet and then you have this texture this this suede that's not just suede smell so imagine smelling like a really really soft piece of suede probably a very expensive piece of suede and it's super soft super super soft it's pale in color it's maybe the palest blue or just ever so slightly gray blue color it's that so it's a i tell you what it's got oris in it and that is very very noticeable and if you like what francesca bianchi does with oris then i think you're going to like this but francesca bianchi's fragrances are very punchy and heavy and massive massive layers of different facets this is a lot more i'd say it's a lot more easier to deal with it's a lot more palatable to the everyday nose what is that up there it's a helicopter we've got a helicopter above us it's normal there's an airport um, not too far away so it's fine um what i love is that there's just the right level of sweetness this is not a gourmand fragrance but it almost is delicious it's just that just checking not sure if it's a yeah it is a helicopter i think it's fine it's not going to crash um oh, i said it now everything's great we're all fine so I love the sweetness in here because it's not too sweet, it's not gourmand sweet, it doesn't smell like a massive dose of vanilla or any kind of pudding or dessert or sweets. It's just like a hint of a sweet floral and fruity mix, but with this beautiful chalky iris thing, iris and suede. That's how it is to me at the moment. I did do a re-spray here to remind myself of the opening. And now the opening, I love, and it's reminding me of something now. It's reminding me of something I love. The opening is way more violety than it is sort of further into the fragrance journey. So the opening's got a lot more violet facets. I really love that opening. Again, it's not too sweet. It's not like a candied violet, but it's also not a green violet. It's a chalky violet, but maybe if you had a candied violet, but you actually remo removed 90% of the sugar. Can you hear my cat purring? Come here, come on. Come on, we need to get ready for work, don't we, darling? Come on, do you want to be on the video? Well, you, you, you're comfortable there. She's comfortable there. I'll just give you her little face the bit she used. Carry on, sweetie. We'll just let her carry on doing what she wants to do. I think she might end up having a little bit of a... Because there's a soft blanket under here. Anyway, I 
detract. That is all I've got for you right now because I must go to work and I will come back to you with some more updates and a much less flattering light very soon. Hello bathroom check-in. It's six and a half hours after applying Angelique and I've been at work for quite a few hours now. So it's just gone 11 p.m. I started about half six-ish. So the fragrance is still noticeable around me. It has not become a skin scent yet, but it's by no means a beast. It's it feels like it's deepened. I don't, it's really hard to explain. Nothing has changed in any major way, but it has got richer and it feels more buttery and maybe a little bit sweeter, but it's probably lost the fruitiness. It feels more like a, uh, sweet and almost vanillic butter but not quite hmm it's really hard to explain it still retains the powder it definitely still smells irisy not so much of the violet it's different on my wrist to how it is up here. On my wrist, it's much more irisy and less sweet. Up here, it's richer and it's like a, a it's like a sweetened butter, but also with some irisy powderiness at the same time. It doesn't feel so chalky like it did in the opening anymore. There's no chalkiness left. It's a much richer texture and say very, very smooth. And it feels to me like a gourmand fragrance now. It's not exactly vanilla, but it, it's giving me slightly vanilla -y feeling, if that makes any sense. Really, really sorry that I'm not describing this one any better. It's actually taxing it's taxing to describe this but i am really really enjoying it i think i want to buy a bottle because i want to spray this one lavishly i have had to spray from the tiny little sample and i only did you know four or five little squirts and i feel like this one that needs to be sprayed to excess certainly for my taste anyway I really like the richness of it now. It's pretty understated. It's very classy and sophisticated. It's not like the others from the line that are a lot more noticeable. This isn't really screaming out. It's, as I say, it's projecting a little bit like out, out here-ish, but it's a very translucent and soft scent, very grown up. I really like it. Not the flirtatious, fun, loving scent that I might wear to a party. Something I would wear when I'm feeling maybe more, just maybe more peaceful, more in a calm mood or maybe something I reach for when I want to feel calm. Something I'd wear to meet friends, family in a very uh, sort of relaxed setting, that kind of thing. Definitely a really great work fragrance as well. That's it for now, I think. Right, it's now about 2 a.m. So that means nine and a half hours after I sprayed initially. And I'd say this is the point now, if not earlier, that I would respray because I can smell it if I look for it. If I, if I shake my top, I can smell it, but it's not really projecting. So it's definitely a skin scent now. In actual fact, I reckon I probably would choose to respray it around about seven or eight hours in. So you definitely get decent performance but it's not beast mode
but the way the fragrance smells doesn't lend itself to be in beast mode. This isn't leather, this isn't bombastic, in your face, heady florals. This is softness, subtlety, beauty in delicacy. And I just looked on the website, the fragrance is inspired by the Iris Pallida flowers that were growing in Lismore, the perfumer's garden. And I can really feel the texture of the perfume is almost like the, the thick flowers of the beautiful Iris plant. The fragrance is definitely a tribute to Iris in the way that it smells. The Oris is present throughout the whole journey of the fragrance. It just smells different at different stages with the other materials interacting with it. Sometimes it feels more floral, which I guess is the mimosa, but I have to be honest, not familiar really with mimosa as a note on its own. There's a few fragrances I really like that have mimosa in, so I'm guessing it's a note that I really like, but I don't know it too well to explain how it smells. I just get a really beautiful, delicate floral from the fragrance, but it's not anything like tube rose, jasmine or rose. It just, it's slightly sweet and very pretty and very delicate but the florals is not the main accord here. Now, iris, of course, is a floral as such, but I never feel like iris is a floral because the scent comes from the root and the smell of iris doesn't really smell like any flowers I've ever smelled out in nature. It's more of a powder, sometimes powdery, sometimes waxy, sometimes earthy, it can take on different facets. But in this composition, I'd say that there's an element of powderiness without it being too powdery and an element of sweetness, which I think comes from the osmanthus with the apricot tones and this suede like a chord that comes in, not for too long, but uh, you get a little bit of this suede, sweet suede for a while when you're wearing it, then it kind of changes and it gets deeper and richer, but there's no bombastic in your face notes here. This is just a delicate journey. And I have to say, I really enjoy it. So I am putting Angelique on my to buy list. So there you go. That's all I'm gonna say on that matter. There is one other thing I wanted to mention. I was just watching Peter from the channel Fragrance View. He did a live stream tonight and I'm at work, of course, but I popped out initially to go to the loo, but I also had to watch a bit of Peter's live stream and overshared the fact that I was watching it on the loo. Probably shouldn't have told everyone that, but hey ho. But what I found out is, uh, and Peter's very uh, quiet about this, but someone said to him, they were talking about the environment and um, the damage that's being done. And Peter, someone said to Peter, every bottle of fragrance you sell, so he has his own line, fragrance house called Centauri. Someone said, every bottle you sell, you should plant a tree. And Peter said, well, I'm not, I wasn't really gonna tell people about this, but I donate all my AdSense, so all the money I make from YouTube adverts, all goes to planting trees because he wants to offset any damage he does by using a lot of packaging that he has to use for his business. So he's planted thousands of trees. So this really is just a nudge to you to go over to his channel. I'm sure you're already subscribed, but go over to his channel and start watching his videos let the adverts play, don't skip them because he's going to be planting trees if you do that. So, I mean, what better reason to watch YouTube videos and help save the environment? Of course, Peter's a pleasure to watch anyway. He's one of the most real, down-to-earth, honest, humble reviewers out there. And of course, now he's got his own line of fragrances as well. 
So he's got a lot going on, but uh, he's got a lot of knowledge about perfume. So if you don't already follow Peter, then go and have a look at his channel and click on all of his videos and uh, trees will get planted. That was all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. That was the air freshener.